Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different than my previous vlogs and other videos more focused on skin. I've always seen videos of like people with capsule wardrobes and wanted to do more of an audit of my own closet. I found out that most of my clothes definitely come from more or less the same stores. My top three when I look through my closet are definitely Aritzia, Everlane, and and other stories and definitely a lot of mix from different stores but when I collectively looked at my closet I found that those were the top three stores so I figured it'd be you know it'd be interesting to see like kind of what's in my closet video and just focus on a particular store particular brand and there's definitely a lot yeah I'm like I'll definitely take a shot of all the clothes on my sofa right now but I have a lot of clothes uh, from Mercia so I just wanted to intro this video and kind of explain what I'll be going through. I love watching different hauls of other people's closets, so that'd be great to show you mine and what I've curated throughout the years. So to get started, I will start with the effortless pants. These are super popular. I'm sure everyone who has shopped in Aritzia or has you know, looked around, browsed around online, the effortless pants are definitely gonna be one of those items that you've heard of and that they really are. The name effortless really does describe these pants because these are lightweight. They really go with anything. You could dress up and dress them down. You can wear them to work. You could wear them out to dinner with friends. You could wear them out to errands. Like really these are so easy to wear. The white pants, and I got this in the regular length, is I think this is the first effortless pants that I bought. And I bought it, um, I think because I wanted to wear them to my trip to Greece. And so I popped some images of the outfits that I wore with the effortless pants, um, ex specifically the white one, because I have two others that I will briefly talk about. But I am a big fan of the effortless pants. I get the hype, they really are um, just so easy to wear. I wear them, I have the, ones in the white and regular. I have the black in the cropped and also um, an olive green. So I'll just show them uh, briefly, but honestly, I rave about these pants so much. They're so easy to wear. I always recommend them to anyone who will listen to me. This is the black cropped effortless pant. I wear the, these to work all the time and they really just kind of go with any outfit, I think the cropped also gives a little bit more of a different, you know, different ways to wear them. I wear these with like um, heeled boots and it gives it a different look than more of like a full length, uh, regular length, I guess, of the effortless pants. So I do like the cropped version. And then the last effortless pant that I have are these beautiful olive green pants. I don't think I actually have worn these yet. I have some type of an idea of what to wear them. I'll definitely have some like video to wear and how I would style these. I just love the olive green color. Again, this is something I could also wear to work. It's just really easy. You just kind of grab and go kind of pants. I usually wear um, them with like boots, with sneakers, with sandals, like anything. It's just really an easy pant to pair with. Um, and, and it really does give you more of an elevated style. So I am definitely jumping on that bandwagon for effortless pants. Uh, Ritzia really does a great job with it. And um, those are just, I just have three in my collection. I'm sure I'll be getting more. These pants are called the Rufus. I thought they were the Conan pant for the longest time. So these pants are a little bit different from the effortless pants because these are more tapered. They're definitely more fit to your body. They're more slimmer. Whereas the effortless pants are more of like, not a flare, but more of a wide leg than um, these pants. I don't know if you could see how we use these are, but I wore these to death. Like I wore these every single day because they give you such like a put together look and they still are in great, oh, yeah, I mean, they definitely have some little, like, I guess like little things like that where the thread is coming out, but I mean, I wore these every day and they're still in great shape. So I can definitely say that these pants, if you take care of them, I don't think I took 
really great care of these. I just kind of like plopped them in to the washer and dryer and didn't really care. But they really do stand the test of time, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I really, these are called the Rufus Dreams. I'll try and link down anything that I can find. Some of these items are definitely gonna be like from a different season, from an earlier season. So hopefully I could find them uh, because I also probably wanna grab another size of these. These are the pants that I wore all the time and I still love them. Okay, so this is the Babaton pleated pant. These pants are one of the newer items that I bought from Maritzia and these are definitely more of a heavier fabric than the effortless pants. They're definitely more work appropriate or not work appropriate, but they're more like work attire um, pants. When you think about, you know, going into work, you definitely want more of um, a thicker fabric. So this is great for like, I wore these in the summer actually, um, but also I know that I will get a lot of use of them in the fall, in the winter time. They also have the same kind of look as the Effortless. They're more of a wider leg than the kind of slimmer tapered look than the Rufus pants. And I do, oh, I really love these. My style is more of just like something that I want to grab and go. I don't really want to think about it. Something just is simple, but I look put together. And these pants um, will definitely do that for you. Highly recommend these pleated pants. Um, okay, next three pair of pants will be the leather pants from Rizia. The Molina pants. I am a huge fan of the Molina pants. The way that these pants have hold on me, I just absolutely love them. Because they are on me, I um, am a little bit more on the petite side, but these definitely um, are a little bit more cropped, but they also flare a little bit and I will show some video or some uh, Image again to kind of show how it looks on me and how I would style it. Okay, so enough about Molina the next um, Leather pant that I love I wear these every year I will just show them. So these are my the Conan leather um, these are the Conan burgundy like faux leather Aritzia pant so a little bit different from the Molina is that they're they are a little bit more slimmer in the bottom they are a little bit more tapered they do have this like little detail here um as you can hopefully you can see it it just adds a little bit to like the knee section um and that these do have similar style to the Rufus pant that I just um talked about but in leather, faux leather form. I adore these um, pants. I think they're very classic. They're in this burgundy color, so every, honestly, like every year, like since I bought these, I have been wearing them in the fall. It is something that I, an outfit that I will repeat until I can repeat it no longer. I just think it's, again, such a classic cut. Um, it is so effortless. Um, it just is also very comfortable to wear. They also have at the back, they have um, the more of a stretchy side to it versus like the Molina pant. Uh, just show, the, oh, everything is falling on my couch. So compared to the Molina pant in the back, there's nothing, there's no like way to really like um, adjust or like there's there's no give, I guess. Like it's just more of a snug fit in the, in the um, waist, whereas, on the Conan pan, there definitely ha is this little area um, where it kind of stretches in the waist. Okay, a lot of pants. I My last pair of pants are another leather pants, and this is also one of my most recent, or part of my most recent Aritzia purchase. Okay, I saw these in the store of Aritzia. I've never seen them before but they're called the Lucy pant and what made me gravitate to these pants are definitely like the white stitches. Um, I think this is definitely a great detail to have. Again, they're not, they're more wider leg in the bottom. So it has more of like a straight leg look than a Molina with a slight flare or the Conan pant, which is more of a, like a slimmer fit. So this definitely, the Lucy pant is more of a straight leg jean or straight leg fit um, than the other two. 
And again, I think the detail that I really, really love about these are definitely the white stitching. Um, I think it just gives it more of like an edgy look. Okay, so I think that's the end of my pant collection for Aritzia. I still have um, some, I'll go through some of the tops. Oh no, there is one last one. <laughs> these are a pair of jeans that I found when I was also in Aritzia, like in store and browsing around. These are the tapered baggy jeans from a Goldie. And a Goldie is another brand that I see everywhere and a lot of people recommend. And I tried these on and they do have more of a baggy feel. I don't have any like kind of, I'm, I have more fitted pants or fitted jeans, but I don't have any baggy jeans. So this is again, a little bit more like baggy in like the knee section and then kind of like slims down a little bit towards like, like the end of my leg and stuff like that. I don't know if I described that correctly, but I'll have some videos and some pictures with these. I think these are another great pair of pants or a great pair of jeans to have in your collection just to have something a little bit different. Uh, I did wear these in Mexico City when uh, we went out for drinks and they're very comfortable. I think it just gives a little bit more of an edgy look and I do love these jeans. Now I think that really does conclude the pants items in my Aritzia collection. And then now I'll move on to uh, sweaters because I only have two sweaters of my um, Aritzia collection. I The first one is this Cipri, hold on, let me just double check if I'm saying this correctly. Cipri cashmere sweater. So I saw this in the um, in store I when I was like looking through and just trying to find like a really nice cashmere sweater. Aritzia really does such a great job. I wore this sweater in New York City when it was like negative, it felt like negative with the wind and all that. So it was extremely cold and I wore this with like a tank top underneath and just felt so warm. I think it just is like another classic sweater to have in your closet. So I mentioned earlier, there's another sweater that goes with my burgundy Conan pant and Oh, this is it. Oh my gosh. I love, love this sweater so much. Hopefully I could like, so as you can tell, this is definitely like more of a thicker material than the Cipri sweater. It is heavier, it's thick, and it's also cropped. It's a little bit more of a cropped than a kind of like a long, longer sweater. And I, I love that. Um, also it does like this turtleneck is definitely longer than the Cipri turtleneck, as you can see. It definitely is more chunkier. Um, it definitely comes up uh, like higher. And I think that just has another like added bonus to keeping you warm if you need to be out in the cold. But I do think that this is very stylish. It is such a beautiful camel color. And it's something, again, that you can wear with a lot of different things probably in your closet. And um, yeah, I, I definitely rave about these. Uh, hopefully, I believe th this sweater is still a kind of a classic um, item for Ritzia. So I, I will definitely link everything below, but this is something that I will be wearing in the fall again and again. Okay, so the next few things that I wanna talk about are Ritzia's um, some of their tees and their tanks that I have. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is this black cropped t-shirt. It is the Wilfred Free one. Um, yeah, just a cute cropped t-shirt, really easy grab and go kind of style. Um, I usually wear this around the house, honestly, but I could wear these at the grocery store, um, wear them on errands, kind of out and about. Um, so yeah. Definitely really enjoy having this t-shirt just as like, you know, I could just wear it anywhere. And then, oh, this one I've had for a few years now. This is the Sunday Best tank top. It's cropped. I also think this is another like grab and go or like you could wear this around the house. I have honestly washed these plenty of times and it's still really great quality. Um, I love how, you know, 
the, the kind of rugged ends of these are just are not as clean so it kind of gives you more of a casual vibe and I do um, really go and gravitate towards this tank a lot in the summertime. Another white tank that I've had for a couple of years is this um, tank. This is uh, so this is the Wilfred Free Coast tank. I'll see if I could find a link. But this I, t I got from a few years ago. It has more of a sports bra kind of crop. But um, again, this is really cute to wear underneath like a button down or just wear by yourself with like a high waisted um, pants. I don't know if I have anything, any pictures with this, but again, it's something you can grab and go and it's really cute. Um, the next two tanks I'm a huge fan of. These are part of my recent purchase purchases. From Aritzia. Um, I have the spaghetti um, tank. It's one of the Babatons. So this is, I have it in white and also I have it in black. So these, um, so the particular, the white one, I wore with my pleated um, pants and then wore it with my white shoes. And I just think that is such like a clean classic look. I wore it to dinner and it was like very comfortable and I, I thought it looked put together. So I uh, really think that these are so comfortable. Honestly, I, w I don't really wear a bra with these. It kind of like cinches you in and it gives you um, just like, like more of like easy effortless kind of uh, outfit. So again, you can kind of layer these um, with like a shirt on top or just by itself. Okay, so this is one of the TNA, another cropped, uh, another cropped uh, tank that I have. I just really love the kind of the casualness of it. It's really just like a really cute shirt. And then the last, um, the last tank that I have. Okay, it looks like weird hanging, but this is what it looks like. This is also another Wilfred, and I'll see if I could find the actual name of it. Um, so this is a Cayenne top in olive beige and when I saw this it looks I, I definitely had wanted to try it on to see how it looks because in the back You could kind of see like how in the back It's very open and there's like a little tie that you have to tie in the back and I think it's really cute for like hot days and I think I wore um, this with a pair of beige trousers and some sandals and it was just like a really cute look to have and I wore it to like a winery and I thought it was um yeah it's just really again one of those like basic kind of outfits and very like simple outfits but you it, it's very comfortable but um but one thing is that I definitely you have to wear like nippies with the with this um because the bra will definitely show in the back but I also really, really love how this is like a knit material too. It gives a little bit more of a texture to the shirt, so, or to the tank. Again, as you can tell, I don't know if you could tell, but I did not wash these, I did not wash this tank like appropriately because there's definitely some things that are coming out. This is definitely my mistake. I definitely should have um, followed the instructions, but even in, so, like it's still holding up well. So I do, do love this tank a lot. Um, so moving on, I have only a few more items left in my uh, collection here. Talking a little bit about color. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. <laughs> so this is, oh my gosh, I love this dress. I think it's called the Again, I have to go and look through my notes again. But this is the Wilfred Bello Midi Dress. And I got this like a little bit towards the end of the summer. So I wore this only a couple times, but I love, love the color of this dress so much. It's very simple. They have kind of like this tie detail in the front. It kind of cinches in your waist and kind of just like flows and follows like the contour of your body. It is, I uh, it's, so beautiful. I love this dress so much and I definitely will get a lot of wear at this um, probably on like tropical vacations, definitely in the summer, but like really I love also especially the color of this. It's just very um, different and yeah, love this dress. Okay, the last dress, I, oh, I love this dress so much. So this is more of a dress that 
um, is more for like the fall and winter time. It's another, so this dress is called the Caroline dress. It is made of all, like the whole dress is made of like from the faux leather, similar to the other leather pants. And it is long sleeved. It has more, like it has the collar and the buttons down below all the way down to the end of the dress, but it also ha comes with this belt, so it also cinches your waist as well. I wore this for my 30th birthday and um, I felt so like pretty and just like put together for this dress. And I think the leather material, the faux leather material really makes this kind of pop out. And um, I saw a girl in the Aritzia dressing room try on this dress, so I, I had to try it. Like it just looks so beautiful and it really, I think the belt really kind of ties in everything together, makes it like more of a shape than just more of like a oversized kind of fit. So, or more of a flowy fit, I would say. So this is such a beautiful dress and I, yeah, I highly recommend to check this out. I know that I went into Ritzy a few, like two weeks ago and I saw different colors of this dress so I know this is still around. Okay, so when I was looking at co Aritzia coats because there's a ton of good information out there on YouTube to kind of describe the differences between the coats, I went in the store and I checked out uh, the slouch coat, coat and I bought like the short version online because the regular version was just slightly too oversized for me, but the short is like perfect. I think that again, this really does give you more of a bit of an oversized casual look to your like fall, winter um, outfit. I can't wait to wear it. It's getting cooler in Boston, so I can't wait to put this on and um, yeah, I think this a coat can bring together your outfit, and so I think the slouch coat is definitely great for that. The classic wool scarf. These are this is definitely one um, item that I've had from Red Sea for a while now. I love the kind of fringe that comes at the bottom. It's a large scarf. Like I'm gonna open it. It's like a blanket. <laughs> it takes up like the whole like frame here, but it is such a beautiful and comfortable scarf. I wore this in New York City again when it was like negative degrees um, and it just kept me so warm. Like the wool in this is just absolutely, like it gives you so much warmth and it's also like, it can be itchy because especially for my skin that I have eczema, it does, it can be itchy for sensitive skin but it keeps you very warm and um, I highly, I still highly recommend it. I know Aritzia wool scarves are pricey, but I've had the, this for like a few years now and it still holds up. So I think that concludes all of the um, items that I have from Aritzia in my closet. I highly recommend these. Um, and I have worn all of these items um, except for the most recently purchased ones, but I absolutely and adore Robertsia. I think they have great high quality pieces. I think you just have to kind of look at, you know, what you usually wear, um, what's your style, what's comfortable. I think they have very classic pieces that you can wear every day and it's easy to just like grab and go. I hope you all enjoy this. Uh, this was really fun and I hope that uh, you all enjoyed it and it's somewhat helpful for whoever's watching this. Yeah, so thank you for watching and see you all in the next one.